Hey, what's going on today, you guys? So the news the last 12 hours has been the NBA draft lottery. Now, I know that this is the hot topic right now, and that's exactly why I want to touch on it. This is Geek Mode Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. And now let's talk about the NBA draft lottery. I am going to take you down the list and take you from pick number 14 all the way to pick number 1. Which, unless you live in a hole in the ground, you already know which pick number one is. So, coming in at number 14 is my Phoenix Suns. They had the option to get the 13th and 14th pick, but it did not work. Minnesota will get the 13th pick. Uh, coming from New York via Denver, Orlando will select 12th overall. Denver gets pick 11. Philadelphia gets pick 10 from New Orleans. Charlotte gets pick number 9 from Detroit. So that's pretty good. They had a 43 uh, win season and went to the NBA playoffs, and they get the ninth pick. So good good part on them. Uh, the Sacramento Kings get the 8th pick. For the first time in a long time, the Lakers get the 7th pick, and the Boston Celtics get the 6th pick. My former Utah Jazz get the 5th pick. The Orlando Magic also will receive the 4th pick. And just like the 10th pick, the Philadelphia 76ers will get the 3rd pick. The Milwaukee Bucks get the 2nd pick. And for the 3rd time in 4 years, the Cleveland Cavaliers will select the 1st overall pick in the NBA Draft. Now guys, this video is going to be strictly about the NBA draft and what these teams can do and where these players should go. I just want to name off some players that I'm really, really looking forward to. And I do want to tell you guys that I'm eating my own words about this own draft class. I've been doing a lot of research on these guys. I've been watching a lot of things on these guys. And this draft class, hands down, is going to be a lot better than the 2013 NBA draft class. And here is why, real quick, is there's a lot of players, first off, on my list and a lot of players that aren't on my list that can be around for many, many years. And we can't really say that about last year's draft class. There were some shining prospects last year. But this draft class is totally different. Now, obviously, everyone knows it's all about Andrew Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins. This guy is going to be solid. Joel Embiid is also on my list. Dante Exum, Aaron Gordon, Marcus Smart, Julius Randle, Zach Levine, Gary Harris, Rodney Hood, Doug McDermott, Shabazz Napier, Isaiah Austin, Corey Jefferson. And I want to start with Corey Jefferson, too. Uh, this is a big man that can literally come off the bench every day and, and be productive. If this kid can stay healthy, this kid is a beast. He was nice in college. I've really been doing my research on this guy. Pretty excited for Corey Je uh, Jefferson. What team do I want him to go to? Honestly, whoever can need a power forward. Uh, I would say my Phoenix Suns, but we already have the Morris Twins. That's like having two players back-to-back. -back. We also have coming off the bench uh, Alex Len. So really, he needs to go somewhere possibly to maybe Cleveland or really just a team that needs a power forward. There's tons of teams on the board that could get this guy. They need somebody who's going to be productive. I'm going to continue on here. Isaiah Austin is another guy that's really caught my attention. This is a big man. Again, if, if these big men can stay healthy like Joel Embiid, there will be a new form of centers along the NBA. Shabazz Napier, now they project him possibly to go to the Oklahoma City Thunder. I mean... He is a type of point guard who could be right behind Dante Exum as one of the best in the draft. So I guess we'll see. I want this guy to get good minutes. This is a guy that can really go out there and, and do things for your team. We also have Doug McDermott. Doug McDermott really, really blew on the scene. I guess you could say this year. I mean, he's been in college for three years, but this is the year that he really broke out. It's going to be really interesting to to see where this kid goes. I just hope that this kid isn't like a Jimmer Fredette or a J.J. Redick. I hope this kid can be productive because he's got that nice post game. Rodney Hood, Gary Harris, Zach Levine, these are all guys that could go to, you know, I'm going to project these guys possibly in the top six through 11. These are guys that could go to Utah, Boston, Los Angeles. And for the record, this is just my list. These are just players that I want to see. There's tons of players that I haven't even mentioned that are probably going to go before these guys. And again, guys, um, it's interesting. With the eighth pick in the NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings have that eighth pick, and there's already rumors that they have placed that eighth pick on the trading block. The Sacramento Kings could trade this pick 
and possibly pursue somebody huge. I mean, hey, maybe Kevin Love. I'm just saying. I mean, I want Kevin Love to come here. I think if Marcus Smart can control his temper, he'll be a very productive point guard. That guy is huge. Julius Randle, I think, is going to kind of sneak away from some people. Julius Randle's the type of guy that could be the steal of the draft, if you will. Aaron Gordon, if the dude can work on his free throws, stay heavy. If Aaron Gordon can play some bully ball, he will be a stud. And I was talking to my friend Desmond, and Desmond said that this Aaron Gordon guy, he could be like a Blake Griffin. Uh, Dante Exum, this guy... You know, coming from Australia and being that kind of slasher point guard, but also being able to make the play, Dante Exum is probably the best point guard in this draft. But then again, there's a few other point guards, one of them being Shabazz Napier, who I talked about. Joel Embiid. Now, I know that it's the cool thing to say that, oh, we don't want Joel Embiid because of his back. Now, I was thinking about this. Joel Embiid could be the first pick in the NBA draft because Cleveland... In a way, they don't really have a center. There's rumors they might trade Tristan Thompson. He could be the number one pick in the overall draft. Andrew Wiggins, if anything, will go third. Maybe he could go play with Michael Carter-Williams in Philadelphia. That would be a scary dynamic duo. So, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about the NBA Draft Lottery. Who are you most looking forward to? Is there anybody on my list that you're looking forward to seeing in this year's NBA season? Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Geek Mode Gaming, and I'm out of here.